What's going on, everyone? So, the Memphis Grizzlies have officially waived Derrick Rose. And, of course, you're hearing a lot of Laker fans saying, Lakers need to go get Derrick Rose. No, the Lakers don't need to go get Derrick Rose. I love Derrick Rose, right? I mean, prime Derrick Rose was next level. I mean, the dude was... It, it's so unfortunate what happened to him for his career, the injuries uh, that he suffered. But it sucks. But he's washed up now. It, I mean, it is what it is. It, it's really unfortunate. But he's 35 years old. He's not going to get healthier. He's not going to get better. He's not going to be able to stay, you know, relevant the way that we would need him to be. Now, if we were this, like, bona fide contender, right? Like, if the Celtics wanted to sign him, I'd love to see it. I don't want the Celtics to win another championship. But, you know, if I'm Derrick Rose, he, he deserves a championship. Right? If the Lakers like absolutely needed a guard, a point guard, then maybe, right? Or if like you just needed that kind of development guy, that guy to just be that veteran in the locker room that just wants to be on a roster, right? That on occasion could come out and play and, and actually give you some production, right? Then sure. But that's not the position that we're in. One, the Lakers can't even sign him even if they wanted to, right? Like even if this was prime Derrick Rose, the Lakers still couldn't sign him. Now, obviously, the Lakers probably, if it was prime Derrick Rose, probably pull off a trade to salary dump to sign him. But still, like you get the point, right? The Lakers aren't in a position to sign anybody. They can't. They don't have any roster spots. They can't waive anybody because if they waive somebody, still count towards the cap. And the Lakers only have $45,000. Derrick Rose's vet minimum is like three and a half million, something like that. So it just, it doesn't, it doesn't compute. It's not going to happen. Again, if... You know, we, we pull off several trades, and it's like we need a roster spot to fill, right? And it's like we have the extra money, because that's the thing, too. Just because we pull off trades doesn't mean we'll have the money to sign a vet minimum guy, right? Like, we might only have, say, a million dollars left. You can't sign Derrick Rose for that. You'd have to sign, you know, uh, uh, Colin Castleton or something like that. Somebody whose vet minimum, or whose minimum contract, wouldn't be a vet minimum, but just minimum contract is for that amount of money, right? Like, the Lakers can't just, oh, it's not that simple, right? And, again, prime Derrick Rose, I mean, the dude was next level. I mean, talking MVPs, this dude was competing for best player in the league. This guy was an absolute monster and menace, right? Seriously, this guy was unbelievable. You know, he'd give you 25 a night, dish out 7, 8 assists, give you 5 rebounds, just an athletic freak of nature, so explosive, so fast, so crafty around the rim. And then, again, unfortunately, injuries happened, right? And he just he just couldn't stay healthy from there. And you just slowly see the decline. And, you know, you, you look at the last several seasons, right? Like last year he played 24 games, averaged 16.6 minutes for the Grizzlies. Um, the Knicks, he played 27 games, averaged 12 and a half minutes. Uh, he played for the the Knicks the two previous years. He played 26 games, 35 games. Uh, he had that stint with Detroit, in which he played 15 games. So a total for the season of 50 games. Uh, played 50 games for Detroit, 51 games for Minnesota, 9 games for Minnesota, 16 games for Cleveland. It's just, again, this guy, he can't play more than 15 <laughs> games, really. I mean, you talk about signing, like... Again, the only way Derrick Rose would make sense, and I, I I get it before I dive into the 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 only way he makes sense. As a Rose fan, I would love to see him in a Laker jersey. And I think that that's what a lot of Laker fans want. I think they just want to see him in a Laker jersey. Right? A lot of people that grew up with Derrick Rose, I just think that, that it's just the the nostalgia, it's the just like man, it would be great to see and it would be Again, I would love to see Derrick Rose in a Laker jersey. And if it made sense and the Lakers could pull it off or, you know, if they had a roster spot they needed to fill and it's like, ah, just bring him on, right? Like, again, it's a guy that come in, play a handful of games, right? You don't, you're not asking for him to play a huge role. You're not asking him to play nightly. You're not asking him to do anything crazy or major, right? Like, if it was something like that, then sure. But that's not what the deal is here, right? Again, the Lakers can't even sign him even if they wanted to. And I do think somebody will sign him, right? Like, I do think Derrick Rose 
is going to end up on another team, right? I just think, you know, there's somebody out there that would love to just have him on the roster, uh, be a vet minimum guy or whatever, right? Like, just just kind of be a leader in the locker room. And again, a guy that you can play on occasion, right? Because most guys that you bring in for a locker room presence, right, usually aren't really, you don't really expect them to play one, and even if they do, you're not really expecting a lot out of them, right? Usually when you're talking about just like a sole locker room presence, right? But Derrick Rose is the guy that, yeah, I mean, if you gave him minutes, he's a guy that go out there and still go get a bucket, right? He's a guy that could still do some things out there on the basketball court, right? Like he still gave uh, the Memphis Grizzlies in the, in the time that he played last season, again, in the 24 games, 16 and a half minutes, uh, he averaged eight points, three assists, two rebounds, Right, if you're giving him 15 minutes a game and he's giving you that off the bench, right, and you don't have to play him, you don't need him, then yeah, sure, right. Like I would love if the Lakers were to pull off some trades and they just let's say they trade Gabe Vincent, they trade D'Lo, right, and it's like man, we could really use some guard depth, right. And let's say you have two open roster spots, right. You bring in maybe that backup guard and then you bring on like a Derrick Rose that can just, you know, that again is as a locker room presence and. You know, say, whatever, say say you have Jordan Goodwin, whatever, right? Say he has the night off or something, boom, you can insert Derrick Rose, let him play, right? You're not asking Derrick Rose to play 82 games, you're just asking him, hey man, can you give? Can you play, you know, 20 games, 30 games, just, you know, when, when a guy has the night off, right? Let's say that the Lakers end up moving Reeves to the point, and, you know, let's just say arguments, like, let's say that they trade for Jeremy Grant and you know, whatever, Wendell Carter Jr. or something. And it's like, okay, so you go and you, you have like a, a Reeves. Maybe you go big, right? Maybe you go Wendell Carter, AD, LeBron, Grant, and uh, Reeves, right? And LeBron is slaughtered at the point or whatever, right? And it's like, okay, well, we could use uh, another backup guard, somebody that can handle the basketball, right? Reeves gets the night off, and so... You know, maybe you're putting a Jordan Goodwin or whatever in there, and then now Rose is playing a big role, right? Rose gets the opportunity that night. Something like that. Like that, right? Something where, you know, if the Lakers could could just bring in Derrick Rose just to kind of have him at the roster, you know, maybe a compete and win a championship, and now Rose got his first chip. Right? Like, that would be something that would be just awesome to see. That'd be something that would just be awesome to have. And I would lo- imagine if Derrick Rose won his first chip with uh, the Lakers. Like, talk about how great that would be, how cool that would be, just to see that, right? Not just see him win a chip. Obviously, that would be cool in and of itself. But on top of winning a chip, just, like, winning a chip with the Lakers, with, like, LeBron and stuff. And, you know, he played with LeBron in Cleveland, right? So, like... It would. It would be a lot of fun to to see him get it. And if anyone deserves a ring, it's him. But I just think you know, if I'm him, I'm going to a team that that can actually contend. Like guaranteed, no well, no championship is guaranteed. But you get the gist, right? A team that can sign me, but also is good enough to probably win a championship. Again, I think the Lakers can, but it's not. I don't think that the Lakers are top three to five roster. Probably a better way to put it. If I'm Derrick Rose, I'm trying to go to a, a team that's, you know, top three to five roster, right? Can he go, like, no, you know what other team would be just, like, cool to see, like, on paper? Would be, like, the Suns, <laughs> right? Like, with Ke- with Kevin Durant and Derrick Rose out there just for, like, you know, nostalgic reasons. But, no, in all seriousness, like, you know, to see him go to, like, I don't know, a, a Nuggets or a Mavericks or... You know, um, maybe even like a Thunder team as like a veteran guy. Uh, Sixers, Knicks, right? Like team like that. One of those teams that that are, you know, one of the top three to seven teams in the league to where he has at least a, a shot to win a chip. You know, again, the Lakers. You still got LeBron James and Anthony Davis. I don't think anyone would be shocked if the Lakers won a championship, but it's not like you know, it, it's tough. It's a tough spot for the Lakers to be in, but. Anyway, as always, this is a discussion, and I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel with your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you think, like, yeah, nah, nah. Derrick Rose, it's just a nostalgic thing, but you just got to stay away from him, unfortunately, um, as much as we would love to have him, as much as we'd love to bring him in. Um, do you think, no, like, go get Derrick Rose, right? Like, figure it out, 
right? He's, he's a guy that would make a lot of sense. That'd be great to have on the roster. Again, whatever your thoughts are, let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me out. So we enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one.